Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today is the big day. Brand new stat morphing cards come to FIFA 23 Ultimate Team with the Shape Shifters promo. At the moment, it looks like EA plan to go all out today and bring the hype with big names and leaks and also the potential for Shape Shifter icons and Shape Shifter premium cards, which we see on the loading screen. I want to take a look at that because I'm just excited to see what kind of crazy cards are dropped today because that's kind of what Shape Shifters is all about. Cards that are just crazy with stat boost and position changes. So if you're excited as well, drop a thumbs up on the video today and of course subscribe if you are new well we had some crazy stuff happening yesterday on thursday that i want to quickly cover to start this video and it all was centered around our very final end of an era sbc jordy alba we expected this to make some waves we talked about it earlier before it was dropped in yesterday's video and it absolutely did high high work rates four star four star a great card i just did it really fast because it's a great value sbc the stats on this card are really really good and of course he links to that new sergio busquets i think this is a pretty good card in game depends on what kind of formation you use and what kind of style you play with but he was pretty fun to use in game and the real kicker here is and the reason why it's making things move like crazy is the price and of course big name player big club easy links 200,000 coins to this 89% upvotes if you take a look at left backs on the market right now left backs everywhere are down bad and it's almost silly how bad some of these left backs have dropped that you would argue are more elite. This version of Captavia may not have as technically more as much stats as this Jordi Alba card has, but I think this card would still be better than Jordi Alba. And he is down. He was like 700,000 coins. He was 550 before bouncing back a little bit. If you take a look at like Teo Hernandez, arguably the best left back in the game, definitely up there as one of the best. He went from about 500 and what, 570,000 coins, dropping off to under five. 500k where he is right now so some of the price drops on left backs that we saw yesterday i think were a little bit maybe too much but it just kind of comes with the territory of the busquets sbc already being released and of course this is the left back that we knew was going to drop off a ton ball day down literally over 60 percent in price from 130,000 coins down to 50k what a crazy drop off that he had there but of course that is the easy plug and play if you do the sbc for Jordi Alba. So a W end of an era SBC there. It's it's cheap. It is fun to do. And it is a really good card. So fair play to EA for ending off all the end of an eras with a bang. Um, but still, we leave the end of an era kind of hype train of this last week without a Zlatan and without a Benzema, which maybe we're going to see as a part of Shapeshifters, right? And we'll look at the potential of that a little bit today. Now, first thing I want to say as well, or the last thing about yesterday's content is marquee matchups actually gives out a 50k pack. And that is not a common pack that we see from marquee matchups a tradable 50k is a gem so i would say if you've got some extra stuff in the club the matchups are a bit different this week they're kind of nation related because we've got some uh, nations playing right now, Nations League and a lot of different qualifiers for everything. All the different competitions that are going on there represented inside of marquee matchups. I would try to get that done because that looks pretty good to me. Now, let's talk about today. The big promo day today on Friday with Shapeshifters. And the first thing that I actually want to look at before we go into the leagues is I want to look at that loading screen again because it's, it's weird that we have a loading screen like this. But this loading screen is basically showing and confirming us, one, that we've got Toko Akambi coming as a premium shapeshifter and that's got to be bruno over there on the left but what that loading screen shows and i'll pull up my tweet from yesterday where we took a screenshot of this and looked at it um it shows that there is going to be that premium footies card coming to the game i mean probably today right if it's on the loading screen it's probably coming today the difference between these two cards as you can see is that little crown at the very top of the card that means it is a premium item which will get chemistry just like a hero but even better right because not only do you get the club and the nation the nationality link you also get not one but two um chem points for the league so that's how it's similar to a hero but unlike a hero you've got a club link still on that card as well now i don't know if we're going to be getting these premium shapeshifter cards in packs today um, or if it's just going to be this one toko akambi i really don't know all of the leaks that we have right now are for regular shapeshifter cards which show right here and just like a hero card as well if this is the only card that is in the team it is on three chemistry by itself which is a huge w so i'm excited to see who they drop as these kind of premium shapeshifter items uh similar to what we had last year during 
footies. Now, with that being confirmed, let's take a look at the leaks. Guys, we have a decent amount of leaks, but not like a ton. And that's kind of interesting to me. I don't know how many players EA are going to drop in packs. Of course, we've been having these team of the season teams of like, what, 18 players in them just about every single week. I would assume it's going to be a little bit less this week for shapeshifters, but we'll have to see. Starting off with the leaks, we've already talked about Upamakano. It's all about the positions that we get for these guys today, right? And you're going to see from the leaks, we've got like three different center backs in here that I'm like, EA, are you going to move all these guys to striker? Or are you going to move like one of them to right back or left back or center defensive mid? I'm super curious to see where they go with all these guys today. So we've, of course, got the Eden Hazard. We, of course, have the Upamakano that we just saw. Now, the new leaks that we had yesterday, Becker, uh, this is probably going to be a really, really pacey card. I mean, he's got really high pace in game on his base item. He had a Rule Breakers SBC that I believe uh, was dropped way earlier on this year. So I'm super curious to see what this Becker card is going to look like. This dynamic image here would be crazy, right? That's what Foot Sheriff is saying. Imagine this dynamic. You know, the potential there is cool. Th that's the weird thing with all these leaks, right? Here's a big name, Virgil van Dyke. But the weird thing is, what position is he, is he going to be? We don't know. Is he going to be an attacker? Is he going to be a defender? Now, this is reminding me back to Foot Birthday in FIFA 19, where there was a striker version of Virgil van Dijk that was released in the game. Uh, but is this going to be Virgil van Dijk striker? Is it going to be Virgil van Dijk CDM? Is it going to be Virgil van Dijk right back? Like, again, that's kind of the craziness of today is we just don't know. Um, also, why is the premium shapeshifter design in here? That's kind of odd. I feel like all the shapeshifter designs should be by each other, even though, yes, this starts with a P and it's alphabetically, this starts with an S. But anyways, besides the point, um, you know, that's the thing today with the shapeshifter cards. It's like, okay, EA, I'm going to be very curious to see which cards you move to which areas. Now, this Virgil uh, Van Dyke team of the year was down. He was in like the 1.25 mil range. He's back up. It's all going to depend on what his new card is today, whereas to where this card goes. If he is a right back but can also play center back, then it's probably going to make this card drop a bit because people would be taking this out of the squad to try out the new one. But this is a, if this is a striker VVD with like 95 pace and 90 shooting, then you know his team of the year may drop a little bit. But people also might go back out and buy that. That's why one of the things we're going to talk about today, the market, the market could go all sorts of different ways today, depending on how content goes. But that's the second big center back leak that we have. Moving up, we've got another one, Antonio Rudiger. It's been his first promo card since once to watch very, very early on this year, basically the first promo of the year, right? Once to watch Rudiger. We haven't had a single card for him since then. I'm excited to see where they put this card. I'm kind of hoping they put him as like maybe left back or center defensive mid so that he can play in defense. If we got a striker Rudiger, that would feel a bit weird. I kind of want to use him. I feel like I haven't used him at all this year in FIFA, and I'm sure his card is going to be cracked. So that's another big name, right? That's two Real Madrid players with Hazard and Rudiger that are going to be in. So that's something to kind of watch out for too. We'll talk about that on the market. Moving up, the Portuguese um, Manchester United card on the loading screen is a Bruno Fernandes. But again, where's this Bruno going to be? Is it going to be a striker Bruno? Is it going to be like a, a left wing or a right wing, wing Bruno Fernandes with a lot of pace and five-star skills? Again, guys, we could just talk about this for days. It's all de just depending on what EA want to do, right? Bruno's got the center mid, center attacking mid cards most often. Are they going to make him really fast with skills? and uh, make him more an attacker, that would be kind of fun to see, right? I'm excited to see where this Bruno card goes today. The way that I see a lot of these cards too is, I think they're going to start off really expensive on the market today. That's how it worked last year as well. And if you think about it, we don't have a ton of saved up packs today, maybe some player picks, but not a lot of tradable pack supply is going to hit the market for these shapeshifters today. It's not like people are saving packs, at least that many. Um, I think these guys might start off really expensive today, and we'll talk about that a bit more as we go throughout the video. Mares, Manchester City player. Uh, Mares actually had a shapeshifter card in the first ever release of shapeshifters in FIFA 19. Uh, or FIFA 20, I forget what year it was exactly. But um, he had a center attacking mid card then. It was just a small shape shift. Again, curious to see what EA do with that card today. But five star skills on his base card. Hopefully, he's five star, five star. That would be sick. Memphis Depay. Guys, we've got some good, big name, kind of meta FIFA players in here. Bruno Fernandez, um, that Mares, his Centurions card, as a lot of people still use, is an SBC. Depay had the fantasy foot card that so many people did, and it didn't get as many upgrades as we wanted it to. But where's he going? 
going to be? Is he going to be moved to a defender? Is he going to be moved into the midfield? He's got five-star skills, three-star weak foot on his base card. Imagine like a 5-4 um, center mid to pie or something like that, right? The potential here again is crazy. Very linkable with some of the Atletico Madrid links with like Griezmann and Llorente, even a cheap uh, Molina from the Tots, La Liga. There's a lot of potential right now for a lot of these cards. And then the last leaks that we have are some of the fodder ones, but still might be kind of usable. Alvarez getting a card here. We've got Frankowski with a link to Seiko Fofana, who I'm sure basically all of us have in our club. He was so packable these past few weeks of Ultimate and League One team of the season. Or Cellini from Serie A. And Eric Bailly, of course. Everybody used Eric Bailly's winter wild cards from earlier on in the year. Is this going to be an attacker, Eric Bailly? Is it going to be an effect? Again, we don't know. So I'm super excited. And that's where the hype is today, guys. Honestly, that's where a lot of the buildup is today. And where just EA can really deliver is bringing out cards that are just crazy that we don't expect, right? Like this Hazard. I, if, imagine Hazard's a left back, right? Like that would be super crazy with juiced up defending, juiced up physical, still with good pace, passing and dribble, but a left back Hazard. The memes today on some of these cards that could be dropping are going to be fantastic. And I'm really excited for it. Somebody mentioned it on Twitter, and I think it's actually a really good point. If you guys remember this out of positions promo that we had very early on in the year, um, we had some cards in this promo that are basically kind of the same vibe as shapeshifters, except it's shapeshifters in the end game, so they go more crazy, right? These position changes and stat boosts that we had early on in the year, they, some of them were kind of nice, you know, like this Reese James was pretty cool. The Dumfries move to center back was pretty good, but these cards didn't last for long because we had the World Cup promo right after that, and um, you know, it was just cool, but it wasn't like hitting different. And shapeshifters usually hits different. So the only other things that we don't know about just yet, we're probably going to get some more leaks today, would be about the icons and about the premium cards, guys. We have a premium card for Toko Akami on the loading screen, right? That is the player that is on the loading screen. But we just don't know if he's going to be impacts, if he's going to be an objective. That seems like it could be an objective type card. And usually the cards that are on the loading screen are impacts but we just don't know. And then we don't have any icon cards leaked. We don't have any icons on the loading screen. So very curious to see what is all in packs. I would assume that if this is going to be a drawn out promo like Shapeshifters was last year, maybe icons don't drop today, or maybe only one premium card comes out today so that they can release some of those in packs later on. We'll just have to see. Kind of some question marks this week with what is going to be releasing. Same thing for an SBC player. Last year, we had a really insane drop of an SBC on the promo Friday of Shapeshift, it was Felipe Anderson. He was really, really cracked. We have no leaks right now for a specific player SBC. So I'm really curious to see what's going to go on there. But we got to talk about SBCs for a second because as I do my daily login right quick here, um, we have the icon player pick. This might be one of the more, you know, hype things of the day today is you'll be able to do the icon player pick once again. It's going to refresh today. Watch out for that. And I want to look at fodder because of it. Now, we talked about selling fodder yesterday. I think that was kind of the move. 83s are down a little bit. 84s are down. They were over 5k. 85s were at 10. That low tier fodder is starting to drop and it's probably going to drop into content because again, the biggest thing that is a change for the demand on the market today of this game is that Weekend League starts early today. Weekend League starts at the normal time. It was 8 a.m. UK time. Just a few hours after this video is going to go live. If you've qualified, you can get into your game before 6 p.m. content, and that's going to change a lot. It's also going to start supplying cards on the market because I would imagine most people would save their packs until after um, Shapeshifters is live today before opening them. But you do see it sometimes on Fridays where prices drop into content of fodder because people expect a lightning round supply and also people are opening their weekend league rewards already. So that's kind of a different thing going on there. I would say unless we get a flash SBC today, which I feel like we might not be getting unless EA want to continue that trend, that might just have been a thing that was happening during team of the season. And I, I just don't know if it's going to carry forward into um the shapeshifters promo let's open my 81 plus double just in case uh oh a walkout nice guys i took the tots counter away i think we're gonna end oh my gosh you gotta be kidding me man this is gonna be a promo card in literally half a day <laughs> nice ea i appreciate that uh yeah wow appreciate that i took the tots counter away though as i was saying because 
it, we have not packed any ultimate tots cards this entire week. I've kind of given up on trying. I might build some 83 plus player picks today uh, to try to pack Rudiger again with my dupe theory that I have just now acquired. So we'll hope for that. But that's kind of the hope for today is maybe build up some player picks. Maybe do that yourself. Um, but I think all of that in turn, the market today is going to be a very interesting place to be. Now, speaking of prices on the market, as we talk about that a little bit more, I said in yesterday's video that there's a big time store pack that we have to watch out for. And I want to go over it. Guys, there is an 83 times 60 that is going to be added to the store sometime most likely this weekend, specifically because it is called an Elite Shapeshifters Pack. That is the craziest pack we've ever seen added to the store. I know we've had the 500K pack, Tots Elite, with 100 players in it, but that was 81 plus. This is 60 players that are 83 or higher. There are only 45 83s in the game. That means the potential of you packing a big time card and just tons and tons of fodder from this is, I mean, it's guaranteed almost. And I think this might be the first pack to go over 500,000 coins in the store. We'll have to see how they do that. But we're gonna have to look at the pack weight on that as well. That's probably an, a pack that would not drop right away today. You would imagine that's gonna be one that drops three, four, five hours later. Maybe it's not even until tomorrow. Maybe it's not even until next week. Who knows? But that pack being in the code is pretty crazy. There's a premium shapeshifters pack as well, which is 90 rare gold players with 388 plus, 387 plus, sorry, and 188 plus. I would imagine that we get at least one of these packs today. There's also a specific uh, position specific pack called the shifting positions, which is three attackers, three midfielders, and four defenders, all guaranteed to be 83 plus, all items untradeable. So those are some of the packs that have been added to the code. And there's new lightning rounds that might come out today as well. Uh, summer rare gold players pack, which is a special version of the 50k pack which includes an additional rare gold players pack. So 21 items, all gold, all rare. A 50K pack is 12 items all by itself. So you're getting an extra nine items in there, which is pretty crazy. Um, and so those are some, I guess, bigger lightning round packs that could be released today on the game as well. But that 83 times 60, whenever it drops, is going to be something that moves the market a lot. Now let's talk about shapeshifters and just the market in general a little bit more today. Guys, I would just be like we've been saying, be careful with the market today because last year, one of the big things that we saw was these shapeshifter cards come onto the market. They were like extinct. Messi last year was extinct at like seven and a half million coins. The shapeshifter card on day one, the, the hazard card was extinct at a really, really high price. And they were just very, very difficult to pack. I think there's potential for that to happen today as well in this game. And you saw the market do okay, but later in the night on Friday and on Saturday and on Sunday into the next week of shapeshifters, as everybody wanted to go out and try those new cards, you saw a lot of the market drop. So that's why we've been saying with these ultimate tots cards, especially on the middle to, to top tier, like million coins plus maybe even 500k to a million coin cards, just be careful with them today because the hype of shapeshifters and the hype of these players getting cards, again, it's just like crazy and like silly, right? That's what draws the hype to these cards and people are going to want to use them, especially if the stats are boosted. It's going to be come down to that as well. If you've got new cards coming out today for Bruno Fernandez, if he's like a left wing and if you only if he only has like 92 or three pace and like 90 shooting, if they are on par or even worse than some of the decently uh, juiced tots cards, somewhat meta ones, you could say, um, then there's not going to be a lot of hype for them. But if they are juiced like they were last year, if their stats are really high, they've got weak foot skill move upgrades and a lot of hype, then you're probably going to see some of this top tier market from a lot of these ultimate tots guys in general probably fall off a good amount later on this weekend. It might not happen automatically today or right away at content time. It might take place over the weekend, but it just depends on how these new cards look. And if they start out very expensive today, that could hurt these cards as well because the hype for new cards, if they're expensive, people will sell their old ones to go and try the new ones. So as I said, though, I expect these guys to start pretty expensive, though, because unless EA do something in the store that's crazy with a tradable player pick or a pack, I'm, I'm assuming the pack weight for these is not going to be that great today. So we'll have to see when they drop um, and, and how that goes. But, um, you know, if you're using a card today, play the weekend league the way you want to play it. Enjoy the games. Enjoy the cards that you want to enjoy. Again, just be careful with these shapeshifter cards because I do feel like they will cause some problems to the market this weekend and going forward but we'll have to wait to see today to see how uh the extent of that now again 
we've been seeing for the past like four or five, six weeks in this game during team of the season, the Friday markets have been so easy to trade in, right? Prices go low, you buy, and then they go up about two to three hours after content when the weekend league starts. But again, as we mentioned earlier in the video, the weekend league starts early today. It starts back at normal time. And that means we're not going to have as much of a big like buy up of cards as we get to two hours after content, especially with the rewards being as lackluster as they are. I really don't think you're going to have as much weekend league demand in general for this weekend. Yes, people are in the swing of things. They're used to playing weekend league, but I'm going to go for it as well myself. But I just don't think you're going to have as much demand today. So also be careful with the market in that regard. You're not going to see the same type of market rise that we've seen in the past couple of weeks. If I would trade with anything today, honestly, what I would look at would be uh, cards from La Liga because cards from La Liga right now are in demand the most specifically some of your you know most meta cards that are in the lower to middle tier price range this award winner Lewandowski is 270,000 coins and he just keeps going up right with the the Busquets and the Jordi Alba links he's just kept on rising he was like 220 230 earlier on in the week and he's just continued to rise even though he has impacts for ultimate team of the season if any of your la liga cards drop today i would keep an eye on that there's also a pretty high amount of la liga cards that are in this promo team through the leaks right you've got rudiger you've got um the hazard that we looked at you've got the um depai that we looked at as well so there's a good amount of la liga cards that would be pretty hype dropping on the game today so that might be where you want to focus your other buys on the rest of the market but also i would just say try to stick to cards that are rare other out of packs team of the season cards um depending on what players we see we get today if you're trying to make some coins or just time a buy for your team that's where i would look to see the biggest price fluctuations and movements would be out of packs cards specifically team of the season because those are the most recent promo cards but watch icons um, and stuff like that as well because there will be market movement today for sure but more so it's like hey nate when should i buy cards for my team um you know that i would maybe just wait for content and see what it looks like and then go from there on some of those cards, um, even though, again, you probably do not want to hold them for the longest time. Now, um, you know, currently on this game as well, I took my biggest loss of the year. Uh, we talked about it in yesterday's video. We did it yesterday on stream. I sold Kaka for 757,000 coins. This is a card that I bought accidentally for 2 mil um, yesterday, two days ago when the game literally lagged down the menus on me. So... That was a big disappointment, but I wanted to show you guys that because that's going to go down as probably one of the, I guess, dumbest things that I've ever done and one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made on uh, the channel here. But kind of crazy, good memes. It's good fun. I'm glad that it's June. If that would have happened earlier in the year, it would have absolutely been uh, demolished. So, you know, other things we're still waiting on is what is it now? It's Friday, right? So it's been since Monday when EA promised us compensation for the TOTS pack and they haven't even re-released the sbc which i that's the most baffling thing to me the fact that that times five per day tots pack has not been re-released it's crazy i hope we get some compensation today or very soon but uh it's team of the season is over after today and um that would be a very big disappointing thing to have not released is that SBC again, I feel like we missed out on the chance to pack really good cards every single day this week because that SBC was supposed to be repeatable five times a day. And all we got instead was a one time one of three player pick per day. So I'm a little disappointed. I don't know if you guys are as well, uh, but hopefully we get some compensation because EA have not tweeted anything else about that issue. And uh, we'll see if they end up saying anything. But right now, it's not looking too good. So we're going to be streaming live today. I'm going to build up some 83 plus player picks and hopefully pack some of those shapeshifters today and maybe try them out in the weekend league on streams. If you enjoyed this video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. See you guys on stream today. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys there. Peace out.